the communication path that's established increasingly between professionals and ordinary people like myself. I think people that want to learn uh, to come to a conference like this will be very valuable both for themselves and also for the organisers and, and professionals that are here. We think it's very important not to lose sight of the human and personal aspects of cancer. And this year, for example, we have an art exhibition by two well-known artists who have created images uh, around life of patients with cancer. Uh, and at the opening ceremony this year, one of the artists gave a presentation about how she create, came to create those paintings and what it meant to her coming here to the NCRI Cancer Conference. Body and self-image are important to women, important to me, and I wanted to show other women and other people that we're doing all right and we're looking good. I was particularly pleased this year also uh, that uh, we have liaised with local schools and over 50 pupils have uh, come to the conference and spent a fun day listening to lectures and talking to researchers. So the NCRI asked us uh, today to run a session with uh, some A-level students uh, to talk to them a little bit about the work of 10 of us. Um, the activities we particularly focused on were um, around health promotion and the work that we do with other young people in the community to promote sun awareness and also to stop them or prevent them from taking up smoking. Health promotion, health advice has got to be fun and engaging. I think we need to um, think, think more creatively and uh, to really make a difference and prevent some of these cancers from happening in the first place. The National Cancer Research Institute approached the Wells Cancer Research Network and asked if we could organise a patient panel for their conference in 2011. The reason they, they approached us in Wales is because we'd done similar events at conferences in Wales over the last few years. The purpose of the workshop was for patients to have a platform to inform the professionals um, about their views of being involved in research and how the information they could give us could inform and improve our practice. It was a, a really successful event where the patient's voice is hopefully able to inform our future practice. Over recent years we've seen a huge increase in informed consumers who can really help to shape the research agenda. I'm a relatively new member to the Programme uh, Planning Committee so I'm hoping that my involvement for, for next year's conference will uh, strengthen the, the consumer presence at an event like this that continues to grow and develop 